This is Ricky Burns and you're watching Sport and Icons. The legend that is, Ricky Burns, good to see you. Hi, uh, how you doing alright? I'm alright, how are you? Good man, we uh, obviously just get down here this morning, uh, just done the press conference there. Um, my eyes are just firmly, <laughs> firmly on getting tomorrow over um, and then I can look forward to obviously getting in there on Saturday night, but uh, no, all good. So where does the uh, this, uh, boxing bug come from then? Because uh, you've been doing it for what feels like forever yep. and you're just not slowing down, are you? Nah, well, you know, obviously the last two years have been terrible for me, obviously. Fights spoke about and fell through and stuff. Um, but, you know, we're here now, uh, Saturday, uh, f like, like just over two, first fight in just over two years it is. Yeah. Um, obviously I've got a new training team in that now as well, I'm based back home in Scotland. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting, fingers crossed, put on a good show. What's the thought process behind uh, not working at the matching gym anymore and moving back home? Um, no, no, Joe, nothing. Um, it was at the start of the year, obviously. Um, spoke to Tony, couldn't train me anymore. Um, obviously, I had been, at the start of the year, I had been helping uh, Mark McCune out with sparring. Um, that was how I got to meet, obviously, Barry and Kevin. Um, obviously, once I, once I had, uh, me and Tony parted ways, obviously, Drop. suits me better as well being back home means there's no more travelling back and forward to Brentwood as well. Yeah. It was really good, we had some good times down there as well but um, it's always good to be based back at home. It's a long way to travel though, isn't it? Sorry? It is a long way to travel. Oh, and you know, I, used to, I used to drive back and forward all the time as well. Really? Even they used to say I was half my nut. Whereas now the gym's only like 10-15 minutes from my house which is ideal. Oh, okay. Well. More family time so all good. Exactly, exactly. So this um, opponent that you've got I can't pronounce his name, what's his name again? No, I don't know, uh, Emiliano Rodriguez or something. Something like that. Aye. What do you know about him? Um, Joe, you know, to be fair, um, I know he comes forward, likes to get in a fight, aggressive. I've not watched too much of him, to be fair. Um, I've left that to Barry, Kevin, Gary, obviously. Um, but, you know, I always say, you can watch your opponents, but um, once you get in there, like, obviously, things change. So, rather than me worrying about them, let them worry about me and I'll just deal with it when I'm in there best way to do it. Now obviously you're not going to look over the, or overlook this opponent, of course not, but you're still looking for a couple more big fights and especially like, like at the Hydro or something like that? I know, well you know, to be fair my first fight was meant to be back in Glasgow, um, okay. obviously I've just done, um, just teamed up with Probellum and MTK, um, obviously the show fell through, um, obviously, and then obviously we get word we're going to be boxing here, which you know, like you said, boxed in Newcastle before, it's going to be a great night so looking forward to it. Um, yeah. But I would love to get another night in Glasgow as well, but we need to take care of business on Saturday first. You still looking for like another strap around your waist? Um, we'll take it one fight at a time, we'll see, we'll see how we go. Look, I mean, you've been in there with some of the best around there, haven't you? So, what is there left for you to do? Where, what's the motivation for you to continue with it? Um, so, boxing's all I've done for being young. Okay. Uh, so, it was like, over a hundred amateur fights. This is my 54th professional fight. Mm. That sounds scary when you say that, yeah. but... Um, nah, do you know what? I know myself when it's time to call it a day. Um, obviously, in sparring and that, you'd, you'd, you'd find out if you were taking too many punches. Um, when you're in the hard spars and that, if you didn't enjoy it, um, then I just wouldn't do it, do you know what I mean? Um, as soon as the first time that comes, or the first time I can't drag myself out of bed to go and do the track in a rainy morning, that's when I know, right, right enough's enough. Um, but there's still all systems going now. So the fire's still there to just punch people in the face and get punched back and you just love doing it? More or less, eh? <laughs> More or less. Yeah. But it, I suppose the hardest bit is the camp though, isn't it? Um, well, to be fair, after fights and that, I always keep myself in the gym anyway. Um, I maybe take a week or two off with boxing training, but I enjoy running. Uh, I'm always at the gym doing weights and stuff like that anyway, so I do keep myself ticking over. Um, but. What, as soon as they give me a, a, a fight date, like 12 weeks out, like, that's me, I'm strict, like, back training two or three times a day, strict with the diet, um, and draw that, that's another reason I see the, the diet and carry on, man, it is the worst bit about boxing, and if I didn't if I didn't enjoy fighting that much, yeah, there's no chance I would do it, man, the, the amount of times I've had to cut, cut the weight down, it's so you still so make it no problem then? Um, I'd say this time it's been a wee bit harder, um, obviously, first fight in two years, um, although I've been training um, and I've kept myself in the gym, um, it's different for obviously getting down to your fighting weight, um, so I've had to be a wee bit more stricter the last few weeks, so right. um, fingers crossed next time it happens um, it's going to be a bit easier. Nice. Ricky, I appreciate your time. No problem at all man, cheers.